Hello everybody and welcome back to the so, 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 to the new save file, as I was trying to say. Uh, we're just going to jump in and go for another run as... Oh, it's been a while since we've played as Mammon. Let's give Mammon a go. Uh, I, I, I'll be honest, I don't particularly remember how this guy works. Um, we've got to play the beggars that we can spawn, I think. And I can... Use the meat grinder on the pigs in the item room. I can't remember. There's there's a few things going on with this guy. I'm sure we'll pick it up along the way. Um, but it's 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 been a definite long time since we played as this guy, and he is he's a pretty fun character. Whoa, that was some speed that you came at me with them. Wow. Oh, okay, and of course the enemy rebirthed as well. Lovely. Really annoying enemy to have rebirth actually. Hopefully it doesn't happen a bunch more times. Let's see. Okay, you didn't rebirth. Good. Okay, we're good. Right, so if we come in here, I think we meat grind in here. And uh, I still don't really get it. I thought that meat grinder did something to the pigs. But I don't I, I honestly don't know. Maybe I'm meant to kill the pig and then meat grind. I can't remember. Either way, we give this guy five and he gives us nothing. We give him five and he gives us nothing. Yay! The pattern continues of me getting incredibly terrible mammoth luck. Okay. Give me that money. Give me that money. Yeah, um, my Mammon luck in the past has been pretty shocking. Um, normally, I just get what you saw there, the example that I just showed, where for some reason the game just keeps giving me only um, spiders and flies, and getting items is like pulling teeth. But I'll try my best, and I'll, I'll keep playing it, but I just get spiders and flies. No stats, no items, no nothing. It just does not come my way. It does not. I don't know what it is about this character. But some part of it, it does not like me. And in terms of the um, in terms of the question of the day, what's like your best trading deal? Like if you've managed to like barter with someone or trade something for something else, what's your like best version of that? Mine is, is, is and always will be, and this is probably not exactly the, the sort of answer people were expecting, but um, I spoke about it if like a little bit ago about the fact that I used to play RuneScape and one of my favorite things to do on that game was to like trade up. Um, I, I loved just like playing that game to like try and trade my way up from like the smallest items I could to like the, the biggest thing I could and I managed to trade my way up from like a potion or something all the way to like the best armor in the game and it was just like the most ultimately satisfying thing. I've not really done much of that sort of stuff in real life I've got to say like that's not something that I've really done much. But I, I, I don't know. I've farted a little bit. Like, um, I've been to Egypt a few times um, with my parents. And bartering's kind of big over there, especially in the touristy areas. So I've got a little bit of experience with it. But it's not something, like, huge. I know that, obviously, stuff like um, car boot sales, things like that, often having more like bartering and stuff but a lot of places in the world you don't really do that when you're buying stuff i'm very much like a bomb right now very much like a bomb in fact i'd also like a bomb for this guy honestly this guy with rebirth is going to be so annoying because all these flies i won't say all of them but a lot of these flies are going to end up rebirthing and it's probably going to piss me off quite a bit i'm sure but i will try my best to kill him in a timely manner i'm I basically i'm trying to ignore the flies where i can Get rid of the sauce. There you go. Give me that. Give me that penny. Sadly, these guys don't seem to be able to drop any of these pennies. Unless we're just getting really unlucky. That's also a possibility. Not bad. Unfortunately, no bomb and no more money to spend. We're going down to the next floor with no item from this floor. This is one thing that I, I, I found with Mammon. That it might just be my lack of understanding. Um... Let's, let's have a look here. Damages the player, spawns a beggar, damage dealt, prioritized red hearts. Yeah, it doesn't say anything else about the pigs or anything. But I'm going to say, it might just be that I get really unlucky, but I just find with, with this guy that I, I maybe just don't get something about him. But I feel like you just miss out on so many items. Like, so, so many. Because you're relying on the meat grinders to give you what you need, and they often just don't. And I think you can do some stuff with item pools with the meat grinder, maybe. I, I can't exactly remember. Oh, God. I say I'm not liking that. And also, an enemy like that rebirthing. I mean, rebirth twice in a row is already slightly annoying. Okay, get rid of the head here. Or not. 
So the head is chasing us like crazy. God damn it, stop rebirthing. God damn it, stop rebirthing. This cares twice in a row. Definitely adds quite a bit of time onto some of the rooms here. I mean, it's not so bad because obviously they do rebirth with very low HP. But it can still cause some issues. Especially when there's a lot of enemies in the room. You can stop doing that, my good sir. Rotten Heart here I will take. Which I should have taken after using Meat Grinder, actually. But oh well, it's done now. Okay, pop Meat Grinder in here again. See if it does anything for us. I didn't take my Rotten Heart, actually. Okay. Can I get to this? How the hell do I get to this? Nope, I'm dead. Timed that very poorly. Yeah, I... Uh... I don't know. This guy is an odd character for me. I, I I just... Characters that do that thing where they sort of, well, do this thing that this character does where it takes your item rooms away from you. I don't mind those, but they need to sort of have the ability to give the equivalent amount of, um, of items. And I feel like this guy just doesn't have that ability at all. Like... Unless you get getting really lucky with your amount of money drops, it's so hard to recuperate your losses. Like, I'm going to try kill the pig first this time. I mean, triple A battery is real nice. Let's play this guy and actually try and get some stuff out of him this time. We did get some stats this time, which is definitely better, but still, I'd rather have an item. I just, why can they spawn the goddamn spiders and stuff? Just take that out of the pool of things that it can give me, please. So frustrating to get that. Like, I think it must be at least a 50% chance to get spiders and flies over anything else. It must be. See, here's where the, where the character pops off a little bit. When you're, you're getting a bunch of um, money drops. If you're getting, like, money from, like, every other enemy. Really, this guy can pop off like crazy, but it just doesn't happen often enough. Oh, that's a bad hit, but I really wanted the money. Right, we're gonna drop another two. Drop another two on you. See if we can get anything out of that. We do have another item room to get some more money out of as well. I should open this as well. That's actually a lot better. I'll definitely take that. Um, got some really good trinkets here. It'd be nice to be able to smelt some of them here, but that's something that we're looking for. I'm going to say it'd be good to smelt some of these, but really happy with the red penny because we're picking up a lot of pennies on this run. Uh, so we should be able to trigger that quite a lot. As long as it works with the spinning pennies that this guy can spawn, it's fine. Um, not a big fan of these jumpy fools right here. We'll find out, sure enough, um, if it can do the red penny thing, but I imagine it can. Good. Yeah, still don't really get the idea behind the piggies. Piggies are kind of lost on me a little bit, aren't they? Right, back this way. There we go, finally got an item. Unfortunately, not the best of items. It's just 10 bombs, but honestly, the earlier you get 10 bombs, the better it, the better it is, like, the more valuable it is. So, it's not a bad get, all in all. It's just not... I'd, I'd rather get something that's more of a permanent upgrade to us. And that's obviously quite temporary. Um, what the hell are these little things? Little potato batteries. Got some new battery uh, pickups. Do you know what I could do, actually? Um, I could pop my meat grinder down now and um, blow him up. I'll, I'll do that now. I'll, I'll drop him down now and uh, pay him out a few times if I can with the rest of the stuff on the floor. And then I've got the 10 bombs to start blowing them up because blowing them up guarantees a capsule uh, for some more stats. So that's pretty good. That's one thing that you are getting pretty guaranteed at this character, but you need bombs to make it work. So it's not it's not a one-to-one -one sort of thing. Um, quickly check out our shop. I will grab that right there. Oh, that is not what I was expecting. Uh, this is a very, very cramped room for this. Not a big fan. I'm probably going to get hit a few times here. In fact, yeah, I'm going to bomb him just, just because. And honestly, I know it's I know it's not a great idea because I'd like to keep my donation machine going. I'm going to do this for a few red keys. It's not really what I was thinking, but more so so we can get Greg the Egg here because uh, he is Greg the Egg. I'll also go for this. Paired out perfectly. 
Right, and then we'll pay a little bit more into this over here. Just, ugh. Crack key up here. Nothing, unfortunately. Lovely. Back over this way. Get my other red key. Try and get a little bit more money for that guy, but we'll come back and bomb him. No money there. It's just, ugh. Money sometimes just does not, does not come when you want it to. We try, try and use this red key to find secret rooms as well if we wanted to. Like, here's probably a secret room. Damn it, it's not. We opened this one for free. Lovely. Uh, we can get that penny. We might as well grab it. Okay, not going so poorly so far. I'll do that. Open that up. Maybe should have waited to see if I could have got a free opening with the uh, with the, the coin pickups, but it's fine. There it is, baby. We managed it. This guy's putting out coins all over the place. I like this. Too many options have been unlocked, and we get ourselves the doubled Lusty Blood, which is pretty awesome. I don't actually know if doubled Lusty Blood does anything for us. And we got a 10 cent D6, which I very, very much want. So I will be buying that. Thank you. Uh, what? Oh, it's a 10 cent use of a D6. Okay. Interesting, but for some reason I thought it was just going to give me the D6. That was kind of foolish of me to think that, to be honest, because I've seen one of those machines before. Um... Got a few extra rooms opened here, which is nice. Uh, let's take out a few of these. Got a cash room down below us. So we've got, just got to be aware that's going to cost us some HP. I probably don't want to go in there, actually. Yeah, I don't know if Double Lusty Blood is doing anything for us, I'll be honest. I have no idea how that works. Oh, wait, no, no, no. It's giving us free entry. Okay, nice. This, this won't hurt us. Hello. Um, Death Cap's kind of interesting. I'm going to take Death Cap. Basically, it's, it lowers your stats every time you use it, and it does some damage to you, I think. But the good thing is, you know, it will bomb you as well. Uh, the good thing is, um, it uh, keeps building the stats down, and eventually, once you eat the whole mushroom, it gives you them all back, and you keep the poison chance. So it's kind of a little bit of a gamble in that way, but I like the idea behind it, and I think we've got we've got it early enough, and we've got decent enough stats to offset it. But it's probably something we should uh, we should use. Right, let's pop two more uses on this guy. Try and get another item. This is a much better start to a run this time. We get glowing hourglass. Unfortunately, not really something that I'm looking for right now, especially after taking a bite out of this mushroom. And right, we are leaving this floor. Yeah, much, much, much better first floor uh, this time around. I'm feeling a lot more confident, and our items are looking far, far superior. So I like that. Weird to see a red room off of a boss room. You don't normally see that, but there you go. It's because it's an XL floor, isn't it? And yeah, hopefully our uh, trinket here will provide some really good stuff for us over the course of this run. Hopefully Greg the Egg can keep putting out money for us as well. I don't mind that at all. Lovely. Really good item there as well. And we got a red version of you. Which ain't so bad. But yeah, that extra damage up again offsets the damage down we're going to get from this mushroom item. So that works out even more so for us. This guy is a piece of piss so far. He has four dashes, though. He has four dashes. Okay. Easy enough. And we did get a fucking Vessel Heart out of this, too. Awesome. Don't want to do Devil Deal here, I don't think. Um, No, I don't want to do a Devil Deal here. And we haven't done any marks as this guy yet. It's our first run of the safe files, this dude, so we can go wherever the hell we'd like. I think the, the, I think the thing takes... Um, the Mushroom takes four or five bites to uh to fully use up so we've got a little while to go yet but like i said our stats are really decent right now so the stats down that we're getting for each bite actually doesn't really matter all that much okay these guys are new we need to 
be ready for how they function. Good. It ain't so bad. Try and keep our vessel heart alive. I don't know how likely that is, I'll be honest. I, the mushroom seems to damage us also when biting it, so we've got the, both the mushroom and the um, and the thingy to deal with. Um, the actual meat grinder to deal with in terms of losing HP here, so not ideal. Bit of extra there. Thank you. Hey, Ultra Secret Room right off the bat is pretty awesome. That guy's kind of stuck down there. So th this is this is a situation in which this is pretty good. We can use this to re-roll, and this is definitely a version I want to re-roll, and we get prop tersus out of it. Fantastic. And now we can blow all of these up. I could use this. I think it costs five per use. Maybe I'll save that. Rather than using Meat Grinder so much. In fact, I should use Meat Grinder, though, just to blow it up. Let's pop this. Right, and then we got this, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, I'll take that. And then... I guess I can just start using crack keys willy-nilly, really. Proptus is gonna be fun. Definitely need a bit more range to go along with it, but I like it. A bit confusing as to where we are on the map now, because we've kind of used a red key to skip through a lot of the stage. Just slightly confusing. I'm not quite sure how close I am to the boss. I think pretty close. Oh god, that was mighty confusing. I'm sure it's going to lead to some shenanigans. Okay, mushroom use again coming in. Okay, that got rid of my empty vessel heart, unfortunately. Not a big fan of that, but eh, it's fine. Really wanted that money there, but don't think there's much of a chance that I'm getting in there, is there? No. Okay, other one should be fine. That penny I can definitely get. Okay, that wasn't so bad. We've got a lot of money right now. Um, yeah, so let's go back this way real quick. Gregoth the Eggoth. We should be able to make a straight shot through here. And then we can use this machine, which is five cent a piece. Good. Yeah, okay. Five cent a piece for one of these. This is actually really, really good. This is way more value for money here. Lots of luck upgrades so far. Really nice. Um, bond keepers will always drop red hearts and rarely burn hearts instead of coins. Heart chances increase. Oh, that's kind of cool. Not something we want right now, but it's kind of cool. Uh, let's go back up this way. We'll grab that. I'm going to drop another one of these guys. Just bomb him for now. Didn't mean to do that. Whoops. Another tear capsule there. Lovely. Hey. Health health is, like, really welcome right now. Because little bit, little bit scared of... Um, the health we're losing. Okay, let's get far away from this guy so I can reposition correctly. And we got one more bite on our mushroom left to go. Okay, not a big fan of you chasey boys. And that is why. Right, where are, where are your little... Burst brains? I think I've done this really wrong, to be honest. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I managed to get a few of them. Okay, that didn't actually go too badly at all. That was way better than I expected. Right. Only thing at the minute is Proptosis is making it so that I have to get very close to enemies, of course. And that is definitely risky. Didn't... Wasn't so, so happy about the hit I just took. 
Um, was there any health I could buy in here? No, there wasn't, surprisingly. I'm going to buy this in case. Temperance. Worked out. I can eat that. Get a full heal, get all my stats back. And now I have the full amount of extra poison. I don't. I think it's 100% poison now. I'm not 100% sure, though. Either way, give us a full heal and stuff. So let's pop this guy. Let's play this guy three times out. Stop giving me flies and spiders, though. Stop it. Sissy. That's a bit better. Good. Things are going well. I don't know when Greg's going to end up popping. We'll see. But god damn, our damage is spicy right now. Okay. Down we go. Yeah, damage is really spicy right now. Musty Blood Pro Proptosis is quite the combo to have in the early game. And hopefully, we can get another red room. Like, getting a getting our red room every floor would be really awesome. It's not super likely, I know, but a man can dream. Okay. Good, good. Kind of love that that's just a guaranteed open in the in their item room. Ooh, double soul heart. That's really nice. Right, I'll play you out. Nice uh, active item that I've not really used before. Temporarily par paralyzes you and gives you tears. Um. If an enemy is slowed enough. That's kind of interesting. Um, so it does freeze us. So we have to be aware of that. But if we can use it in the right situation. It seems kind of good. It seems like the sort of thing that we've got to like. Plan ahead for. Like that probably wasn't the best usage of it. But I, I like the idea behind it. I've just basically got to find a reasonably safe place to chill. And hold off. And then if I can do that. I get some extra stats for the room. I think it's going to be one of those things that I probably don't want to bother using every single room. Especially the rooms that we can clearly kill in a speedy manner on our own. Um, but maybe some boss fights and stuff. It could be really good. That's pretty cool. The fact there's a Yum Heart uh, station there. That's pretty cool. I like that idea. If you've got enough money, essentially, you can fully pay out a sack room. Which we technically could probably do if we hadn't spent our money this floor thus far. A copper bomb... A copper bomb uh, thingy there. Pretty cool. Copper bomb troll bomb. Fortunately, a very bad shop there. Look at that thing. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like that. It's definitely not a 100% chance to poison, but it's still... It's, the chances are decent. Yeah, at this point, honestly, just bombing them is, like, really, really worthwhile. <laughs> just guaranteeing to get those stats straight away. Once every six runes. Have you got the bombs for it? Pretty worthwhile. Oh, for God's sake, why did a nickel have to drop over there? Come on, now. First nickel I've, get I've gotten off a kill. Drops over there, does it? Right, try and get some more money out of this than we put into it. It's not always the case, but... This time, it should be the case. Right. Where are we off to now? Okay, I see, I see. Go around to the boss. And we are wrecking stuff up. We are causing a complete and utter ruckus. Yeah, I knew I was going to get hit there. I kind of gambled on that and hoped for the best. Damn it, we're getting a bunch of red room procs in rooms that can't be opened. I see you there, crab boy. I don't think you can get away with that shenanigans. We have steam sales, so shops are pretty good for us, unfortunately. This is not one of them. No red room thus far. 
I should always open the chests and stuff, because Soul Hearts, more, more so to the point, money. Ow, that was a really bad hit there. It was just idiotic. Where could the red room be? This could be secret room, considering it's not a red room. Could also give us mini mush, which I wasn't expecting. Happy for it, though, I guess. Hey, we found it, boys. Oh, my Greg Egg. He gave us deviled eggs. Thank you. This time around, we have red. Extra ultra secret room. Ah, this is kind of interesting. Because I don't know how likely we are to get something better than that. I'm going to pl play this guy out in here and see if there's any specific drops for this guy in these rooms. Nope. Um, It's kind of interesting because it's, it's like the extra ultra secret room, we could end up getting quite a few of those. But I, I think it's just better to go for raw power straight away and Boil Baby isn't that. Oh my god. Okay. Should have taken it. Should have taken it. That was uh, very depressing to see. It's a very cool item, but I just didn't know how much value I'd be able to get out of it. Definitely more value than I can get out of Mum's heal. There's unfortunately quite a few pretty bad red items out there. Finally get our Angel deal. Double tears up is really nice. Another look upgrade is pretty lovely too. Hello, hello. Has to take half of our money, unfortunately. But we do get um, this, which is two heart containers, two damage, two bombs. Whenever you place a bomb, a second one is placed for free next to it. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Yes, yes, please. I like that. Okay. Feeling good about this. So, bomb it, bombing for damage right now is actually a really good strategy for us because we're always going to get double the value. Also, if we're trying to bomb skulls and stuff, we're getting potentially double the explosive radius too, so that's good. Thought in a room like this where I have to wait anyways. Good idea to use my active. Like I said, I don't know when slash if I'm going to end up using my active. It might be something that I all but forget about, but hey ho, it's there when we need it. Cracked. Right, meat grinder here. You got for me, fella. Some more speed. Some more flies. Hey, the emoji glasses. Do not mind them. I think they're quality one just because they're annoying. Like, the actual effects are pretty decent. And the sound effects and stuff as well kind of adds to the annoyance, I guess. Reroll the enemies there. I'm liking these machines. They're thematic of the rooms and cool. I thought it was just a random accident, but they seem to be designed and placed with specific purpose, which I, I really like. It's unique to see certain rooms built around being able to use actives. Nothing much I want in here, unfortunately. It's a pretty bad shop, all in all, really. Right, back down this way real quick. Okay, we are schlippity slapping everything right now. Additional mini boss room will generate on every floor. Eh. Cool, uh, bomb sprite there. The extra money there. I knew that was coming. Getting a lot of money drops now. That might be luck based because we've got a lot of luck now. I don't know if uh, luck affects how much money we're likely to get. But it feels like as our luck has gone up, we've been getting more. So I wouldn't completely toss the idea aside. Thank you. Ow, those enemies always hit me. He hit me twice. Lovely. Keep forgetting to pick up these as well. Okay. Didn't really have to do these extra rooms, but I just kind of felt the need. 
going to bomb this guy straight off the bat here. We did get an item out of him. We got Ham, uh, which is Heart Container, Black Hearts, Damage, Range, um, Unusual Methods of Acquisition. Intriguing. Sorry to have killed your brethren, but I got what I came here for, so kind of worked out. I didn't expect there was a specific item drop based around killing those guys, but worked out for the best for me. Right. Went every single which way but the boss room, so let's go that way now. I kind of expected the boss to be over here, to be honest. But I don't mind being a bit late to the party. Remember to use bombs if we need to as well, although I really don't think we need to. Yeah. <laughs> Wasted time to use that bomb, I think. Let me get the mom's lipstick as well. Ugh. Whenever you get the Yes Mother transformation, it's always a bit depressing because it's like, ah, oh, three bad items. <laughs> For the most part, at least. Obviously, they're not all bad, but a lot of the time, your transformation is just made up of the fact that you got three bad items. Uh, we did indeed get a, a library here, which I'm reasonably happy about. Pop our meat grinder down. Honestly, just bomb him straight away. I think I probably want to keep this one. Out of all of them here. Because the melatonin one, it's just the active, it's just not really something that's cutting it for me, is it? It's it's just, I think we're, we're, we're a bit too fast paced in this run for it to make sense for me. And I'm just a bit too fast paced of a player for it to make sense for me. Anything that's like, makes me wait and that with the, the paralyzer, I realize the paralyzed time isn't exactly long, but I'm impatient. So for me, it's, it feels like an eternity. Right, crack this open. Wasn't expecting this, but rather happy to see it. Lots of extra moolah. Money's looking really good, to be honest. I don't know if you get a higher quality item for giving more money to the angel uh, the angel beggar in the angel room, because it just takes half your money. So I'm not sure if, like, if you give it more, like, if, if the, the amount that is half your money is higher, if that increases the quality of the item it gives you. Because I got, I got a quality three item there, but I'm not sure if that's just by random chance or what almost up to five tiers pretty much purely based on the tier capsules here which is pretty good going i think hey i love that opens up all the rooms hey we got it again baby eye the occult is a good one Is a good one indeed. Right. No other really good red rooms thus far. Just regular old rooms, really. Shot speed. Eh. Obviously not that important, but it's fine. They did change the weights of, of the uh, shot speed capsules, though, because before they used to be super common. They used to always get shot speed, but now... They've made it so it's a little bit more evenly distributed. Because shot speed is obviously meant to be a bit more common because it's a bad stat. But it's not meant to be, like, the only thing you ever see sort of thing. So much luck. Wow. That wasn't so bad at all. Ow. Still managed to touch the spikes there. Blue map most certainly will take. Do I want to bother with it on this floor? No, I do not. We can definitely do... Oh, I was going to say we can definitely do boss rush here. Actually, way off boss rush. Don't know why I thought I could. Let's actually start paying into this guy now because we have nothing really to spend our money on. Hey, Mongo baby, thank you. Yeah, we'll start spending our money now. No point saving it. Keep accidentally doing that and splitting my bombs there. 
As a spin down, we could technically... Oh, we've got a tenant drop there. We could technically spin down our trinket, but I ain't going to do that because that trinket is real heckin' good. Okay, those guys give us a lot. Reverse of the tower? Why not? Why the hell not? Some of these faces have a uh, spectral. I quite like that. I'll be honest, I don't think I have to be bothering with chasing around the money anymore. Like, I'll get it if I can, but I'm not going to go out my way of, or potentially get hurt for it, because it's just, it just doesn't seem really all that worthwhile for me anymore. Why did I... Why? Why did I bomb him? I didn't mean to bomb him. It's fine, though. We got, we got a damage up out of it, but that was still a little bit foolish of me. Oh, I see what I've got to do here. Not actually that difficult, really. Especially kind of a cool puzzle room. Didn't take that much effort, but had a little bit to it. HP as well. Nice. Let's use my buck a little more here. Oh, what a waste of all that money. Just left before it spawned, or like right as it was spawning, and missed out on all of it. Did get an angel deal here. My question is, like, should I spend my money on this guy first and then spend it on him? I, I don't really know. Pretty good. Damage, lovely. Damage, lovely. This guy's been the best one so far. He's been fucking ace. Candy heart. Kind of okay, actually. Especially with getting these hearts all the time. Right. Down we go. We are speeding along right now. Speeding along. Oh, but let's keep it going. Let's keep this trucker moving. Can I take that out? I can't remember if I can take that body out. Or if I've got to take out everything else first. I think I've got to take out everything else first. Yeah, I do. Not so bad. Yeah, with Meat Grinder, Candied Heart actually isn't all that bad. Because uh, I can get rid of Red Hearts to be able to refill them sort of thing. Yeah, I don't know if I'm making a straight shot for the boss here, but it certainly feels that way. This is where we just bomb it when we've not got much money. We get another goddamn luck upgrade. Holy hell. Pop that there. What does he do if he... Oh, I was just about to say, what does he do if he tries to throw a cursed penny at you? He just detonates himself. <laughs> I don't know if that's a chance-based thing. If sometimes he does uh, throw a penny or sometimes he blows himself up. But that's pretty funny. Grab that. Earwads we can get a free item out of. A was, a was, a was, it was. Oh, that is not. I thought that was a thingy on the ground there, damn it. A bit of a waste there from me. Oopsie daisy. Okay, this is getting kind of annoying. Spin down shard. There we go, finally. I knew I was going the right way. We'll see if the spin down shard ends up being valuable to us. Thick skin, nice. Angel deal once again. So let's see how this works. Okay, it literally just doesn't matter. It's better to have less money coming into these. 
Uh, Grants three uh, orbital familiar is that cycle through nine variations. Familiars are fired in the direction that you shoot, each with different effects. Sounds interesting enough. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Um, okay. Bible, I don't think we care about, really. Meat grinder. Pop you down and do that. Not what I was expecting to get out of this, but there you go. I can't get that goddamn thing there. There you go. Spin down, maybe? No, just spin down into another book. I'll keep my glass spin down on me regardless. Ah, oh, I left the wrong book. It's okay. We're going to go up this time and go and do an Isaac fight. Also, because I love the music on this floor. Oh, God. I just realized what that, uh, <laughs> what that beggar was then. It's the goddamn Jake Paul beggar. I do not like that in my game, please. Not something I agree with. Oh, I was like, what the hell's left? There's just one tiny fella up here. Hoping Spin Down gets a, a opportunity to shine here, but we'll see. Miter, nice. Good to get a decent item out of that guy. Might be a bit late for that item. I'll be it, but oh uh, well. Stuff. Oh my god. Do I not attack these things? What do I what do I do here? Okay. Somehow that all worked out. Don't ask me how. walking into everything right now. It's not not great. <laughs> Keep walking into that goddamn spike rock that I created myself. Okay, at least we're dominating with our damage. Thought the room was over for a second there. Whoops. A bit preemptive. That one was just a kind room. Soul heart there. Thank you. In fact, I don't think the might really matters for us at all. Because it increases the soul heart spawn chance, but we every heart is a soul heart for us now, so I don't think it really makes a difference. On half hearts, I guess it matters. Okay. We're doing alright. Yeah, and we'll see if Spin Down can shine in the in the chest here. Oh, wait. We don't get the chest, do we? <laughs> I forgot about that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.